This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a multi lock interactive UL rated cylinder and a little story about how assumptions about locks can sometimes get you into trouble when picking them. Now, just from looking at this lock, I can tell relatively easily that it's a multi lock interactive. Now, from that, I can make a couple of assumptions about this lock that would be helpful to me when picking. To demonstrate that, I have a key. It's not the key to this lock. I don't have a key for this one, but this is the same 206 keyway, and you can see this fits in, but it will not turn. Okay, so looking at this key, we can see that pin stack number two is where our interactive element is. So I know when I start to pick this lock, I'm going to have to pick up pin stack number two really, really high. So I started picking this lock with that assumption in mind, and it was not opening. I probably spent 10 or 15 minutes working on it before I finally put that assumption aside and the lock opened up relatively easily. What I discovered was that despite the fact that this was a interactive cylinder, it was pinned up off of the multi-lock classic 06 key which also fits into the interactive 206 keyway. So someone threw me for a little bit of a loop by pinning up this interactive like a multi-lock classic. So as I said, once I set that aside, I was able to open this lock pretty quickly and that's what we are gonna to attempt to do right now. Then of course I will take it apart and show you what's inside. Okay, let's start searching for binding outer pins. One's loose, two's loose, three's loose, four's loose. Okay, five's our binder. Okay, I think we got him set. Let's pull that pick out. Okay, one's still loose. Okay, two's binding. Let's lift him up. Click another one. Okay, I think we got him set. These are feeling like serrated driver pins. Okay, I'm on number three. He's binding, a couple clicks. I think we got him set. Number four. Okay, I think we got four set. Nothing on five. Let's go back to the beginning. Okay, one is binding now. Okay, we got a little bit of movement on the core, so I think we have the outer pin set. Let's start moving to the inner pins. Okay, click out of number one. Nothing on two, three, four, okay, five. Definitely the inner pin is binding. Got a little movement on him. Pulling out, I think I'm, yep, I got something on the inner pin on one. Then we went into that really deep false set, which means we probably just have inner driver pins, and that's what I'm looking for now. Here's one on three, got it, click there. Another one on four, and one on five, and we open the lock up. Okay, let's take this guy apart and take a look at what's inside. Okay, we're gonna have to be careful not to lock this guy up as we take it apart. Comes apart with two Phillips screws. Okay, and because this is an older cylinder that I'm not familiar with, I'm going to put a shim in here before I try to open it up just to avoid any problems with it. If I can get that shim in, it's pretty tight here. Okay, there we go. I think I got that shim in place, and hopefully this will slide out without too much trouble. Great. Okay, let's start dumping these key pins out. Okay, standards in one, same in two, same in three, four, and five. Let me arrange them, and then we will take a look 
at, uh, it's not coming out. Then we'll take a look at the driver pins. Okay, let's take a look at these driver pins now. I didn't feel any spooled ones. I did feel some serrated, so that's what I'm expecting to find. Number one is serrated. So is two. So is three. Four. And five. Okay. So, clearly not what we normally expect to find in a multi lock interactive. Usually, when we find security pins in the interactives, we find either standard or spooled driver pins. Here we have the serrated outer driver pins, which are normally found in the older multi lock classics. Then, of course, there's the fact that pin stack number two does not have the really, really short interactive key pin in slot two, entirely pinned up as a multi-lock classic. So don't let your assumptions get in the way of your picking. They can often be really, really helpful, give you good information about a lock before you even stick the pick in, but don't stick to them too slavishly because you won't open the lock every once in a while. Okay, looking at these key pins, we can see all standard inner and outer key pins. Driver pins are all serrated outers and all standard inners. Moving over to this core, it is the UL rated cylinder, so we're going to see some drill protection. We have a ball bearing in front of the drill stack. If you look down slot number two, you can see the detent that would normally operate the interactive chamber, obviously not used here. Then we have drill protection above and below the keyway, and that's it. If we look over at the, the, the housing itself, you can see three more anti-drill inserts right in front of where the pin stack is. So a lot of drill protection in this lock, and that's what differentiates the UL-rated multi-locks from most of the others. So that's all I have for you on this multi-lock. If you have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.